Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we got two new news blogs from the Star Trek Online official Twitter account. So, on screen. So, what we'll do is we'll go over the tweets, over the blogs, drop our ECs, as usual, just two of them, and then give our conclusions. Here we go. So, as part of our Stormfall update on May 10th, we've completely remastered the 2409 era Federation tutorial. Now, they've revamped it already, and I quite enjoy it. I actually do like it. And now they're revamping it because we were able to actually get Janeway in the game. And that's awesome. I've We've covered this already, Captains. You know I'm excited to hear. So here we go. Here's a blog, class of 2409, 2409, report for duty. Love this. Lo it seems fitting to have Janeway to kind of walk you through this or oversee you in your mission through the Borg. It just makes sense. So I'm all for it. Not the, mo <laughs> Not the most flattering picture of Janeway, but that's what we're going to go run with. And that's, yeah, that's what we're going to run with. There you go. We've undertaken a rework of the Starfleet tutorial experience for cadets undertaking their first cruise. Newly created 2409 Starfleet officers will experience polished and updated training exercises. Ooh! Sounds exciting. And maybe that's probably one of the pictures that we saw there when we were covering the new pictures that came from Chicago Con, or no, from the video, the video that showed this new sort of cargo bay area i'm gonna see it over here which is awesome in our updated tutorial your captains to be still start on graduation day at starfleet academy but we've updated the map to improve its visual fidelity and provide a more beautiful landscape your companion elisa flores leads you you know what she she kind of i hope she gets an update <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying i'm not npc shaming I'm just saying, in this, in, sorry, Caps. Liza Flores leads you through the Academy steps so that you always know where to go next. Updated UI elements now indicate people to talk to, places to go, and objects to interact with. Several characters have also received a visual polish update. Woohoo! So you'll notice that some of your mentors and peers have an improved look. Love it. In addition, we've tweaked the story of the tutorial to focus on one overriding threat. The Berg. Your humble ship survives a Borg strike and becomes embroiled in the awakening sleeper cell of Borg on a nearby Federation colony. And when your captain is abducted and assimilated, it's up to you to take the center seat and save the day. Of course, Starfleet is a family and you'll have a little help. Both from Captain Nog and the famous Admiral Janeway. Can I get a yes? Let's go! I say that, Captains, because of course, Janeway, but we have our good friend here, Captain Nog, and it's just great to have more, more things in game with him. Obviously, it's not new. Maybe we've had him in before, so I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to, to have th these two helping you out. It, that's just awesome who has plenty of experience in fighting the Borg. All of the cutscenes in the tutorial have been redone to provide a much smoother and dramatic experience. And we've taken a crack at improving the tutorial's behind the scenes logic as well to catch odd edge cases and make sure that you won't get stuck and you should always know where to go next. So what you're saying is there's gonna be a bunch of arrows pointing downwards, a bunch of arrows on the ground, another visual visual gasm i just came up with that once you've made it through you'll consult with admiral janeway once more on earth's face the dock before receiving your next assignment from fleet admiral quinn of course delta recruits still have their special experience too but they still have to make it past the borg threat before they can save the future we'll see you once you've completed your training cruise cadet Sounds cool. Can't wait. So I think what we're going to do, Captains, is for the sake of going through this tutorial, we're going to make a new tune, obviously. 
and just experience it. We'll probably do a video of it as well, uh, sort of chronicalizing our sort of adventure there again, but also going through this revamp tutorials. I do like all the tutorials right now, even though Age of Discovery was sort of just a reskin, it's still, it was still good. And what made it to me was the actual facial animation. So I hope all these polished NPCs, all these, you know, with of course having now Admiral Janeway here, it's all gonna be there. Can't wait, Stormfall can't get here any sooner. Captains, you know we're gonna be on it like white on rice. So after that, we also received this. Excited about the that shiny new Federation tutorial? Well, here's some great news. If you complete it during its first month of life, you'll also be a Delta recruit. That's pretty cool, actually. It would have been nicer if it was the AOI, but it's okay. It's all right. So we'll go over the blog here. The Delta Quadrant needs you. So Delta Recruit returns. The special Delta Recruitment event is coming back from May 10th, of course, the start of Stormfall, to June 9th. So in this time frame, Captains, you just got to get to the tutorial. You don't have to do all of this. We've covered recruitment events before, same as before. You can create a new Delta Recruit character, any newly made 2409 Starfleet officer, Klingon Defense Force character, or Romulan Republic character is eligible to become a recruit for the 28 days that this event runs. Delta recruits gain a set of special goals in order to prepare for the Iconian War. Captains, if you're new here to Star Trek Online, first, let me say welcome. Secondly, the Iconian War arc, one of the best. One of the best, one of my favorite up till this day story arcs in Star Trek Online. Really, really great. Using a Tesseract transceiver from the future, you'll chase down information about the Iconians and complete other tasks to make sure your faction's ready to handle the Iconians. Along the way, you'll earn great rewards and gain special account unlocks so that your other characters are rewarded too. In addition, we've updated the Delta Recruit tasks to remove out-of-date missions and introduce new goals with new rewards. Missions that are no longer in the episode journal will no longer have Delta Recruit tasks in them but we've added tasks to the new Romulus Dyson Sphere Delta Quadrant story arcs. You'll also gain rewards from completing those mission groups. Tasks that previously gave you marks have been updated so that you can claim all of the new kinds of reputation marks that have been added since the first launch of Delta Recruitment. There's now a reward for reaching level 60, which gives you even more marks and reputation to lithium, as well as salvage, so that you can earn more reputation gear and re-engineer your equipment for the end game. Quote unquote, end game. And we all know end game is what? Say it with me, captains, in the comments below, Space Barbie. And yes, I was doing air quotes as I said that. We've added new rewards for completing your faction's Admiralty campaign, including a very special Admiralty card, the USS Voyager. Existing Delta recruits will be able to complete these new goals as well. And if you've already finished them, you can claim the rewards immediately. Remember, to become a Delta recruit and gain access to the rewards, you must take a new 2409 Starfleet character, a Klingon Defense Force character, or a Romulan Republic character during the event. Then you must play the tutorial until you receive your special Delta recruit Tesseract transceiver device. That's important, Captains. Just start it, get that device, and then you can forget it and or work on that character over time. Once you receive the device, your character is a Delta recruit and you can complete the goals at any time and claim the rewards even after the event ends. So there you go, Captains. So very, very excited. Again, I know I've always said this, but it's a very exciting time to be a Captain on Star Trek Online. And this is definitely a great time for newer Captains to come on. They're gonna have such a different experience, especially from what we've experienced, those of us who are vet captains here in Star Trek Online. And the only other piece of EC that I will drop here is definitely recommend that when you start the tutorial, go through the story in its entirety. The Iconian War is great, the later story arcs are great. Star Trek Online has really made huge improvements. To the new player, it'll be obviously just all new regardless, but I can tell you captains that throughout the years, I've seen the improvements. And for me, one 
I know it may be sounding like I'm fanboying over Star Trek Online, but it's a great game. It still has a bunch of potential left, and I really do believe it. The captains, there we go. There's our two ECs. This is starting May 10th when Stormfall drops. I'm super excited. There was one thing. <laughs> there was one thing I was sort of waiting on for this blog too as well. And we've mentioned in a previous video, and that was the Cerritos video or the California class. I was hoping, I was hoping that they were going to give us a starter ship that is not a Miranda. <laughs> and that they're just going to give us a California class. Now, could they still do it as a surprise? Maybe? Hopefully? I'm still holding out hope for that. But I'm not saying that they're doing that. I'm saying I'm hoping because, as we've mentioned, it would be nice just to have the California class slash Cerritos in the fleet for the sake of having to represent lower decks. But that's the last two ECs there. There you go, Captains. Start a new recruit, May 10th. You want to work on that, fine. But it's going to be a great way to go through the new revamp tutorial. And from what we've seen already, there huge, huge, huge shout out. Huge shout out to our development team, our devs for the great work that they've done. It's a lot of it is really coming through with the visuals, especially like we did that video on Humor Boys Bridge, shout out to you, Nick. Great work on that. The ships that are being always constantly worked on, shout out to you, Thomas. And it's just a great, great overall feeling of positivity for me. I know captains that a lot of the recent news may not be so great, but at the end of the day, I think we all want Stowe to keep going for as long as possible. This is a 12-year-old MMO. So they have to do what they have to do to get that EC. So just keep that in mind, Captains. I know I always sound, we sound positive, but there's decisions that I don't agree with, but I can work around that. At the end of the day, Star Trek Online, Star Trek has been a great way for me to just escape the real world and just be with my fellow captains on the bridge just like me. So captains, like the video, comment, subscribe to the YouTube bridge. We are almost to our 1,000K subscribers. There will be a special giveaway. Look out for announcement on that. With that said, we'll leave it on this note. Can I get a yes, let's go? Yes! Let's go!